Hey everybody, welcome to the Urban Palette Kitchen. I'm Chef Marcy and I'm going to be making mac and cheese today. And I'll be using a little bit of a butter, flour, whole milk, and I have three different kinds of cheeses. And I'm going to spice it up a little bit by adding some smoked Gouda cheese. So in my pan I have a couple of tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of flour. And this part is called making a roux. And we're going to make, which is a mother sauce, is a bechamel. So in my pan, I have my butter, like I said, and my all-purpose flour. And that is unbleached flour. And I have whole unsalted um, butter. Next, I'm going to add my milk. And I have just regular whole milk. You want to add the milk in a little bit at a time just to make sure you don't get any lumps from the flour. And you let this come up to a slight boil, but not like a roaring boil, more like a slight simmer, just a few bubbles, and it'll be nice and thick. I already pre-cooked my pasta a little bit ago, so and I just kind of wrapped it up. So I have spiral pasta. This was all they had at the supermarket when I went, so I just purchased this. But it's just mac and cheese, and you can use any kind of pasta you want. So I just have regular spiral pasta. I cooked it in uh, boiling salted water, and um, then cooled it down with a little bit of ice water. If you see, it has gotten a little bit thicker. So I want it thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. And that is called a uh, nappe. So at this stage right here, I'm going to turn my flame down to about two. And I'm going to start seasoning and adding my cheese. So I have regular um, sea salt. And I, I'm going to use a uh, white pepper. I don't like them black flakes floating around in my uh, bechamel sauce. And I have Kroger brand. I'm not brand specific when it comes to the cheese. Um, Kobe, Kobe Jack cheese. I have sharp cheddar. And I have Monterey Jack. And I only cooked about a half a box of pasta. So I don't need a lot of sauce. If your sauce gets, cheese sauce gets a little too thick, you can always add a little bit of milk to thin it out a little bit. And I'll show you guys my smoked Gouda cheese. And this is what it looks like. So what I'll do is I'll add it too, because I want that to melt down. Now on the Gouda cheese, I don't want personal preference. I don't want the brown part, so I'm gonna cut that off and um, use the rest. The brown part is just, it's a little bit of wax and um, oh, the smoke, some of the smoke flavor but um, I don't like it because it's going to be brown specks inside of your sauce. So you see how my cheese sauce is getting nice and thick. And nice and cheesy. In one second, I'm going to switch to a spoon. So I switched to a spatula. And I'm gonna add a little bit more milk because it's not as fluid as I would like, but it's coming together well. I'm 
I'm gonna also add a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and Cajun seasoning. That's how I like to season my uh, bechamel cheese sauce. Now you want to be careful at this part and make sure that your flame isn't up too high because your sauce can still burn and that's not what you want. So definitely be a little bit patient. The Gouda can be a little tricky in melting. It can be a little bit stubborn. So definitely let it go for a few extra minutes and then it'll kind of just finally just melt down in there. It's always, it's a bit stubborn. I don't know why. Um, and uh, it gets like that from time to time. So I have a baking dish that I'm going to put this in, and then I'm going to do, uh, in my, uh, sorry about that, in the baking dish, I'm going to butter it, and then put the mac and cheese inside of it. So now that it's almost melted down, I, have, I see a few more pieces of Gouda cheese in there, but it'll be all right. I'm going to add my macaroni, or my spiral pasta, actually what I should say. Make sure you guys subscribe and like to my channel. Click that button, let me know what you think. At this point, I like to taste it. Make sure it doesn't need any extra seasoning. Nope, it doesn't need anything. Add that to my pan. And I'm going to add some cheese on top. And I like to add to some panko breadcrumbs on top. And this is just regular Publix brand. I'm sorry, Publix brand of panko breadcrumbs. And I also like to add a few sticks of butter to make sure that it gets all nice and brown. And yeah, I keep my butter at room temperature. I do. I have my oven on 375. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done.